Hello again and welcome back to Expendo Bros. This is part the start of part two. Whew. Got a really no this this could be good. Okay, so this level starts off with some artillery trucks. These things are bad. Um later in the game they're not so horrible. But they're particularly bad right here because you get three of them in such a close proximity that fighting them usually ends up in you getting hit by a rain of artillery. Bullshit. Um. Although, luckily, it looks like I was able to avoid most of that. Although, I didn't die, so. Not completely avoided, but. Eh, whatever. Okay. Let's see here. Ow. It's actually really good though. So, like I'm, I'm trying not to die because I know if I like because I've already died a bunch of stupid deaths already. I know if I'm not careful, I'm that I just screw up. Yeah. And also, I know there's a part up here where I always kill my uh, free man, and I'm trying not to do that because for some reason that bro, I always end up killing. Not for sure what. Like, well, half the time I'm not sure what. Okay. So now I got Broctor Death. Based off of Doc, who is, um. I should know this. Um, um. Williams, or no, Wesley Snipes. Wow, William Snipes? Who the hell is William Snipes? Um, Doc is based off of. Or, yeah, Broctor Death is based off of Doc who is Wesley Snipes' character. He is a melee character. Uses his knife. He is also a, a rather strong person, so although his normal knife attack takes a couple of times, he has directional knife attacks. For example, a forward slash, which will literally just walk through places, or stone. A downwards bunny hop and an upwards upper cut knife slash? I don't know. Aw, no! I, I wasn't done explaining him. You're a jerk. I'll, I'll go a little more into him after. Or when I get him again. No point in talking about him when I'm not able to demonstrate it. That took four minutes? Wow. Okay. I hope I can do this one without being an idiot. For some reason, this level like just gives me trouble whenever I'm doing a clean through. Like when I, whenever I have all the bros, this isn't even a problem, which is really weird because I'll even use the bros I have available, and this isn't a problem. But yeah. I think it's just one of those you, you stop paying attention sometimes. It's like yeah, I'm, I, I know what I'm doing. I'm just gonna walk right through this. Yeah. 
No, I want to push this this way. Yeah. Okay, back to Dr. Death. So as I was saying, he does have directional attacks similar to Neo, although they're not based on his, um, they're not based on his directional, uh, melee attack. They're based on his actual primary attack. His, um, yeah. special ability, which I'll try to demonstrate in a second, is a charge and slash which is extremely useful. Um, it's also a great digging tool. It's basically the same as Braid's uh, special ability, just without that aura of AoE around it. Well, that was uncalled for. Okay. Now, this thing here, I disarmed this one so I can kind of show you it not jumping up. But this one. Oh, that thing's still there. So. This thing is a rocket launcher. You can disable it by destroying any of its parts. If you destroy the power lift part, which kind of has the power symbol, whatchamacallit, on it, you can disable the, like, you'll disable the lifting mechanism, which will cause it to drop back down. Sometimes that's useful, sometimes it really doesn't matter. If you take off uh, one of the middle parts or the actual launcher part, you can pretty much just, um, sorry, you can pretty much just go through and dig straight through that. And I'm just gonna nope that. And those, as you can see, are saw blades. which do a good job of sawing through things, as you probably gathered. Let's see if I can do this right. No, I can't. Yeah, I definitely cannot do that right. Whoops. Okay. Luckily enough, we, we start from here, so it's not all the way in the back. What? Really? Got stuff behind me. That was low. Okay, this thing can work with. Toll Brode. Okay, now Toll Brode is based off of Toll Road, who is played by um, Randy Kucher. Uther, however you pronounce, want to pronounce it. He uses a shotgun-based flamethrower and a very fiery incendiary grenade variant. As you can see, it uses both the explosive uh, grenade. Let's get that. 
It uses both the explosive grenade feature of BA's, or yeah, BA Brorakis's inserter grenade. It also uses the flame spouts of snakes, uh, Moltox. Allowing it to be an extremely powerful and devastating weapon capable of taking out large groups of people within instances, basically. Okay, and that should have saved the day. Now, normally I'd want to kind of cut that out, but I don't want to, like, lie or anything. But, luckily enough, that actually should put me to a point where I'll be unlocking the next character without too much of a hassle. So, I'm going to go ahead and go through here. Okay. Apparently I'm going to jump in a saw and be an idiot. This just isn't looking good for me. Saws can be destroyed. Um, a simple hit will normally take them out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Ow, I was not meaning to do that. I was going to say, however, sometimes rather than taking them out directly, using them is a much better proposition. Really? None got up there? This isn't working out quite as planned. I'm not gonna argue though. Okay, that that'll argue. That was kind of bold.
Really? That didn't get him? Okay. That was a horrible video. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. Um, this next one, this next area contains a boss fight, so. Yeah, I'll be back in just a moment. And maybe this time I'll pull my head out of my ass and stop dying like an idiot. See you in a second.